So Mixer is officially shutting its doors by July 22nd. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mixer is currently being absorbed by Facebook Gaming. And so what this means is that anybody who has a partnership with Mixer can be absorbed into the partnership with Facebook. There's incentives involved in that. And ultimately, it could be a great decision for some people on the platform. And as a Mixer partner, there's a lot invested in this video for me personally, because as a Mixer partner, this was a pretty big shock. As someone who uses their content creation platform to support their family and do something that they're passionate about and love, this hit me pretty hard. And obviously with the multitudes of streamers, partners, viewers, people who have community built into the Mixer platform, this is obviously hitting them pretty hard as well. And it's important to dialogue about these things and create a conversation around them because for a lot of streamers and partners who are displaced right now, it brings up the conversation about what's next. What do I do next now that the platform that I've built my community on is shutting down? Welcome back to the Streamloots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and Streamloots. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I think are some really important things to dialogue about. I'll share a little bit about my reaction to all of this and then hopefully give you some insight in what you might do moving forward if you're a streamer. With all that being said, let's get into it. So initially when I found out the news, I was off stream. I was just doing uh, back end work for my community and I found out through the grapevine that a tweet had gone out from Mixer. Now, obviously my first reaction was to be in complete shock because I, first of all, couldn't believe the news. And second of all, when I started fleshing out that it was the reality, I had all of this anxiety about what was it gonna look like for me to completely uproot my community that I've built over two years to a different platform or maybe multiple platforms. I had no idea what that was gonna look like for me. After watching Twitter and tons of my friends on the platform you know, respond to the news, I realized that I wasn't really alone in my feeling of being completely shocked and really just kind of grieving the loss of so much time spent in the platform, uh, investing in building community um, around that platform. And it was really hard. And I think a lot of people related to that and connect with that thought. People on the platform have literally spent hours and hours on a daily basis for the past several years. Some who have been doing this since the beginning of Mixer, which was initially Beam. Content creators that have spent so much time and energy uh, pouring into this platform just to have it uprooted. And I think there's a lot of pain there and it makes sense. I mean, when you think about it, imagine having a relationship for several years and having that relationship completely end um, without any sort of preparation for for the news so since then since the reaction of that initial shock I've come around in a different way where I felt a little bit more at peace about the change because there were a lot of issues with mixer and there was a lot of writing on the wall that this day might actually come and it came it just came really quick and so it felt like at the same time that I was grieving and in shock, I think a lot of people also experienced a uh, reaction that they felt like this was kind of coming. Because of that, I felt some relief actually, which might not be shared by everybody, but I felt a little bit of a relief because it put me back into a position where I had to start creating and reimagining my stream, my community. And I also saw a lot of community being built within this terrible, situation you know from my moderators to my community to several viewers um, a lot of people were able to voice their thoughts about things that were frustrating as well as speak to the content creators that they support and share why they follow them and some of the things that make the communities that they followed so special and so meaningful to them and for me when i received a lot of those messages it was an encouragement to um to focus on the things now moving forward that make my community what it is so that's a little bit of my reaction in the past several days it's been about a week now since the news has been released and i guess my encouragement just in the reaction that i've had and what i've kind of gone through and processed is to remind you that this doesn't have to be the end for your career as a content creator the thing that i've discovered is that my community is very strong. The people that support me are going to stand behind me. And that's a really encouraging thought to have. And I hope that if you are out there, you are displaced and you're trying to figure out what moves to make. Some of you have already made moves um, that you'd be reminded that there are people in your community that are going to share something to the effect of this. I will go where you go to have built something where people are willing to say that 
says a lot about you and my encouragement to you is to cling to that right now in the midst of all of the confusion of the shock of the grief and the pain and remember that what you're doing matters to people and what you're doing um, has created relationships that might not have otherwise happened without something like this occurring so keep your chin up keep moving forward do the best that you can to hunker down and create a plan and remember this is not the end this could just be the beginning so moving into some of the questions that might come up or some things that are good to reflect on uh, one of them would be how to communicate with your community about all of this and what you should be doing kind of in this weird transition phase where maybe you're not sure where you're going but your community is asking you what platform are you going to be on where are you going to land and you feel that pressure some of the anxiety that comes with that um, my encouragement for you is not to tell you what exactly to communicate but that you should be communicating what i mean by that is this is an opportunity for you to be communicating with your community that you're there that you're present with them and that you're not you know afk in just uh, missing from all of the conversation it's also important to understand that you need to step out and take a step back from those conversations at times to manage your own emotional health a lot of people don't understand that that's a that's a really big component right now for a lot of people that there's an emotional and a mental uh, toll on a lot of content creators right now so uh, managing that and understanding when to step in and communicate with the community and when to step back and just take a breather so that you can kind of self-reflect is a really important thing to do. Now, as far as how to communicate, obviously what I would suggest right now is to utilize all of the platforms that you have at your fingertips in telling your community what you're thinking, what you're feeling about all of what's going on. So that means going to social media and you might also utilize your Discord community. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm streaming on Mixer as well as on Twitch. Well, I'll explain a little bit about that in a, in a minute, but I've included in my title when I'm streaming on Mixer and on Twitch to send my community to the other platform that I'm streaming on so that they know where I'm going or what I'm going to be doing. Just simply by utilizing your current stream to dialogue about it can be really helpful for letting your community know what's coming up. By doing a lot of this, this will help you retain your community. So the important thing about how to communicate is really Maybe not telling you exactly what you need to do for your situation because yours is going to be different than mine, but more highlighting the fact that communicating right now is really important. The obvious next question then is, is what steps should I take and should you take if you are a Mixer streamer looking to do this as a career or even as a hobby? What steps should I be taking uh, when moving forward? Now, my first answer to that question is going to be to tell you that only you can do what's best for you. This is not in anybody else's hands, and it's going to be really important right now to avoid the noise of other voices telling you or making you think that they know what's best for what you should be doing. Now, that being said, make sure to do your research. Don't feel rushed into making a decision. I've seen a lot of people make decisions because they feel like if they don't do it right now, they're going to lose more uh, than if they would if they had waited. The next thing I would say is, is to know your value, know what you've accomplished. Take time to write down all of the things that you've accomplished, because at some point, if you're going to apply for affiliate ship or partnership, regardless of the platform, you're going to want to have those things ready to present anyway. Understand and accept also that there's not a perfect decision for you. At the end of the day, you have to make the decision that's best for you. And no one's going to know that except for yourself. Now, for me, what that looked like is dialoguing a lot with my wife because I do this to provide for my family. And so I spent a lot of time uh, taking a step back um, while I was watching people make decisions about where they were going to go, which was totally fine. I didn't want that to influence my decision. I wanted to take a step back and dialogue with people that I trusted, both within my family, other content creators, and people in the industry that could help me process and make a better decision for me. Now, all that to say, all of the things that are happening around you, my encouragement to you is to not let anybody else's voices dictate what decisions you make moving forward. So the next question really to dialogue about is this, when should you switch to another platform? Should you restream to multiple platforms right now just to test the waters to see which ones you like the most and i'll tell you what i'm doing what i'm doing right now is i'm currently still streaming on mixer because i have a community that doesn't know all of what's happening so i want to make sure that i can bring them up to speed and i'm currently also restreaming on twitch so that way i can take my community and give them some direction and have a dialogue about what's happening what 
things I'm reflecting on and thinking about as I'm moving forward with them and uh, also direct them to another platform that I'd like to test the waters with. Now, this might not make the most sense for you. Maybe if you're in a place where um, Mixer was great and you're, you, maybe you just got partnered or you just started developing um, a community, it might make sense for you to just go full into something else um, depending on where you're at with your community. I personally think that restreaming right now, regardless of the platform that you go to, is really important because you're going to find that there's a lot of people coming into your Mixer channel um, that want to know where you're going. And regardless of whether you know that or not, um, you can still maintain a connection and relationship with those people so that when you're ready to make that decision and communicate that decision, you can tell them on Mixer where you're going to be. So the last question ends up being, where should you go? And I'm not going to tell you the answer to that question because as I've already said before, is only you are going to know what's best for you depending on where you're at. Now, what I can do is I can provide you some information with each of the platforms, at least the main ones right now, which is Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube that might help you in making your decision. So let's talk about Twitch. Now, when I started streaming, really before I even started streaming, if I wanted to watch a live stream, of somebody playing video games, the first thing that I thought of was Twitch. And there's something really important about that principle that's already baked into the bread, if you will, with Twitch, which is that when you think of something and you know where to go, that says something about the success and potential success of the people who are on the platform. I'm not saying that's a surefire thing for everybody, but it's something really important to understand. When you invest in Twitch, you're investing in what many people would look at as the industry standard. Twitch has the largest viewer pool. It has the best amount of incentives and perks for streamers when they move to affiliate and then even onto partnership. And all around, there's just a lot more brand support. A lot of content creators will dialogue about the saturation of Twitch, that there's too many people, there's not enough viewers, for each content creator and that's just false. The reality is is that saturation in my opinion is far less a variable in your growth as a content creator than your ability to network and collaborate and build community with the people who are there. And regardless of whether or not you go to Twitch, YouTube or Facebook, you're still going to have to invest in the people who are in that platform to help build your stream. YouTube can also be a great option if you already have a YouTube following built into your transition. So what I've heard a lot of people dialogue about is that it's really hard to grow on YouTube because its main focus is pre-recorded content. Now, because YouTube's primary focus seems to be pre-recorded content, it just makes gaming content a little harder to find. Lastly, let's talk about Facebook. Now, if you're a Mixer partner, your situation might look a little bit different than if you're um, not a partner on Mixer. And the reason why I say that is because Facebook is offering partnerships uh, on Facebook for Mixer partners and also giving an incentive to do that. Maybe if you just got partnered on the platform with Mixer, it's going to make more sense for you to go to Facebook where you can grow in a smaller community and receive an incentive package to go and do that. My only suggestion with that is to make sure that you've done your full research on the platform itself, because as it stands right now, Facebook is quite smaller than Twitch or YouTube, and you'd wanna understand what that might mean for the future of your content. Be sure to read the contracts, understand what they might mean, and make a decision accordingly. Now, for me personally, when I've been dialoguing about Facebook, I've dialogued with my community, my moderators, uh, people around me that I trust. And for me, it didn't seem like the right decision because of a lot of what I felt like people felt about Facebook as a platform. The interface, the lack of low latency was a big issue. Anonymity was a big conversation for a lot of my viewers where they wanted to keep their Facebook separate from their live streaming consumption. So maybe that's just a facade and that's just something that, you know, people would get over uh, over time. But it was something that mattered to me when I was dialoguing about Facebook as an option with my community. Now, we've barely scratched the surface with this conversation and it's going to be one that we're going to continue to have today and in many weeks to come. But we at least wanted to touch on it here and give you guys an opportunity to create a conversation let us know in the comments section below what you think about all that's happening. If you're a Mixer partner or a streamer on the platform, we'd love to know how this has affected you and maybe some of the decisions that you're making and the actions that you're taking. We know this time is hard for you guys right now and we believe in you. We want to make sure that you have what you need to succeed 
as a content creator. And because we care about you guys, we really wanna make sure that we're doing what we can to support you. If you are a Mixer streamer, we wanna help you make a living doing what you love regardless of the platform that you go to. Now, if you don't know about Streamloots, Streamloots is an opportunity for you to build in a revenue stream by creating really fun and engaging interactions with your chat and your community. So if you haven't considered signing up for Streamloots, I highly recommend it because right now for this month through July 31st, Streamloots is going to be offering a 100% revenue share on anything that you earn from utilizing Streamloots. This is a great opportunity to sign up with Streamloots and continue to make a living doing what you love. So please make sure to go to streamloots.com, check out the platform and see how it could benefit you as a content creator that's all for this video you guys thanks so much for watching if you're a mixer partner or streamer out there please hang in there and know that we've got your back if you liked this video if it was helpful for you in any way shape or form please let us know by giving us the thumbs up and as always guys to stay up to date with all things streaming and stream loots make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the future content we have coming out thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video